next on Showtime. It's Chopping Chuck Norris back in Vietnam, killing bad guys, saving POWs, and rewriting history. He's a one-man army out to out-Rambo Rambo in Missing in Action. Next. It's Showtime Instant Winner Sweepstakes, where everyone's a winner with the best entertainment in an instant. And now, the chance to win over $350,000 in prizes is just a phone call away. Call 1-900-328-2600 to enter, and you could win incredible home entertainment prizes and all the Orville Redenbacher popcorn you can eat instantly. Each call costs just 95 cents. 10 RCA 42-inch screen TVs with on-screen displays. 50 RCA programmable Super VHS Hi-Fi VCRs. 127-inch stereo monitor receivers, plus 100 microwave ovens, each with a case of Orville Redenbacher's Gourmet Popping Corn, 2,000 RCA VCR survival kits, 5,000 boxes of Orville's Delicious Popcorn, and 5,000 one-year subscriptions to Video Review Magazine. Over 12,000 prizes in all, but that's not all. Just by calling, you're instantly eligible to win the unbelievable grand prize package. One lucky grand prize winner will turn their house into a complete home entertainment center with an RCA TV and VCR for every room. An RCA widescreen TV, four RCA 27-inch monitor receivers, five RCA Hi-Fi VCRs, an RCA Pro Wonder camcorder to make your own movies, one year supply of RCA videotape, a microwave oven, and one year supply of Orville Redenbacher's gourmet popping corn to snack on while you enjoy it all. But that's still not all. Need a vacation? You could be one of five lucky bonus prize winners. We'll fly you and a guest to Las Vegas for the premiere screen of the Showtime original movie, The Neon Empire. Call 1-900-328-2600 now and be a winner during Showtime Instant Winner Sweepstakes. This is Eddie Murphy Raw. He's special. I mean, it's good, clean, and wholesome. Not in this movie. Due to the raw nature of Eddie Murphy's performance, viewer discretion is strongly advised. And I'm mad to stick in some jokes between the curses. He's bad, nasty, and not suitable for family viewing. That it show is funny, ain't it? Eddie Murphy Raw, a top box office hit you won't see on HBO or Cinemax. Eddie Murphy Raw, Tuesday at 10.35, 9.35 Central. When the top movies hit TV, they're on Showtime. Is it just me, or does the next episode of It's Gary Shandling Show look suspiciously like a remake of The Natural? All right, so, so you got it. And yes, it comes complete with an all-new mystery woman, a poor man's wonder boy, and the Roy Hobbs of Ping Pong. Why did I hope people look at me and say, there goes Gary Shandling, the best there ever was. It's all on the next It's Gary Shandling Show on Showtime. Friday. What's Sherman Hemsley so jumpy about? Kathy Ladman. Hey, let's discuss it. Let's talk about it all night. Come on. Mike McDonald. Ah! Robert Schimmel. Eh, that's not the right answer. It's Sherman Hemsley's comedy jackpot. Yeah, well, that's different. This is going to be great. I'm a happy woman. A full house of laughs you won't want to miss. Come on! Exclusively on Showtime. Okay, mom back, mom back, mom back. More? That's good. No, that's More? good. That's good right there, right More? there, right there. Okay. No, no. More? No, no, go back, go back. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. The other More? way, the other way, the other way, the other way. Byline Showtime invites you to spend some time with author and screenwriter Peter Benchley, whose books Jaws and The Deep both established exciting new landmarks. Now a journey into the sea with Peter Benchley. <laughs> Seventy percent of the Earth's surface is covered by water. And it's a safe bet that seventy percent of the Earth's population is afraid of that seventy percent of our planet. Why? Why should anybody be afraid of the ocean? Is it just the fear of drowning? Or is it a profound terror of being eaten? Some people like to blame irresponsible authors who write scary books about man-eating fish. To that I plead, not guilty. Fiction is, well, fiction. And if novelists caught the rap for causing panic, then Stephen King would be public enemy number one. I think the ocean is a warm and welcoming place. After all, man came from the ocean. 
waddling ashore on fins that would become hands and a tail that would become feet. We spend the first nine months of our lives immersed in a solution that's more than 90% water. So what's so scary about the ocean? Well, for one thing, the ocean is where our dragons are. In the old days, when map makers were charting the world and had to account for unknown areas, terra incognita 